My name's John Ford from Sultan's Brokerage. I'm here today to show you around this Jeannot Leader 36 uh, lying down here down in Sultan's and Pool. It's a new sole listing for Sultan's Brokerage and uh, she's a 2016 fitted with a twin Volvo D4 260 horsepower which would power the boat to a comfortable 35, uh, 34, 35 knots. Let me show you around. Okay, get us kick started. I was keen to show you the profile of the boat uh, before we get inside because I think it's just a really pretty design. Perfect boat for the UK and med boating. Um, really sleek design, nice deep V hull and some really nice features we'll have a look at. Just to start with, we've got the gray hull band on here and you notice with a younger boat like this, 2016, with the larger windows, which you really see the benefit of once we get inside. She's got a hard top roof, uh, electric open canopy, stainless steel anchor we've got there at the front. And as we come back through, just see the nice lines there with a really good sized bathing platform. So that's suitable for swim platform with the swim ladder stainless steel swim ladder we've got here uh, would easily fit a tender on the back there with uh, a few davits and as you can see the fatigue is in good condition nice and clean with a couple of low level lights uh, just down here so this up at night but the low level lights just here and just as we step on board here a couple of spotlights either side stern spotlights just here so I've just taken the rear canopy off, but I've just kept this section up here, just give us a bit of sun protection. And then to get us kick started, we've got the sunbed here. So we can do on the video, obviously, just show you some of the features so as they move. So we've got nice, decent sized sunbed here. There's actually three sunbeds on this model. One here on the stern, uh, one up in the cockpit, and then we've actually got a sunbed on the uh, foredeck as well. So we step up into the cockpit and as you can see, it's really, just step back here just so you can appreciate the, the space we've got here with the sunroof open, uh, it's electric sunroof. And then we've got here for, when you've got the anchor down, entertaining, wet bar, uh, we have an uh, electric barbecue, it's just here. Nice solid stainless steel drinks holders and this then opens up here for a really good decent dining table in the cockpit. Solid stainless steel leg. Really impressed with the build quality. This particular one has been well looked after. Masses of storage space on here as well. So got here got a locker just in here so a nice deep well here storage locker just in here and also another one on the stern as well um, locker just in here ideal for covers fenders wet gear plenty of storage space as we come on through, so there's our further sunbed just here. Seat here for a co pilot seat, you're underway. It'd be nice and comfortable for cruising. And then we come on to the helm position. So nice, clear helm position, nice for window. This manual opening window just here, good for communication. And I'll just show you here the sun, but there's uh, the sunroof as well. So no fuss, fairly quick, lightweight, hard top roof there. Just comes forward and back. Just leave that open a little bit there. So we've got the Raymarine Touch here, and there's plenty of optional extras on this. Uh, particular boat that I want to point out to you because we've got a colour chart plotter or touch screen as well as a radar HD colour uh, fish finder uh, 
Um, we've also got here the bound stern thruster. So as well as a twin control with the Volvo's twin control here on the stern drives, you've also got the bound stern thruster, which gives you really good control. It's a great starter boat actually for so someone coming brand new into boating. This would be much more easier to manoeuvre than a, a sports boat with a single engine, for example. Uh, makes a lot of sense. And then we've got the VHF here. Uh, there's a remote spotlight with controls here and also just a um, uh, remote here, remote control walk around for the spotlight uh, just up on the roof. And then at night you've actually got some low level lights and they've got the LED lights here across the top as well. Two fusion speakers linked up to the fusion system down below. Okay, I'll just uh, slip the shoes off. Oh, one other feature I just wanted to show you here while we're here at the helm position, because I think this is a very clever idea. The bolster seat just slides back, and then actually, if you open up the sunroof here, So stood on this step here and you're looking straight over the windscreen. Really good visibility, just coming in, communicating with the crew. That's about spot on and ideal. Okay, we'll come on down, show you some the interior. Okay, so just as we've dropped down here, we come into the lower deck. So we've got a really nice, spacious, open area here. Really clever, Geno have produced something here that instead of having a separated forward cabin and everything else being a little bit smaller, got this huge open plan area. It's a carpeted floor, galley, well-equipped galley here. We'll come back to that in a second. The saloon, just down below here. So there's an L-shaped saloon down here with the table that folds backwards and forwards here. Fusion sound system with the speakers down below and up into the cockpit. Flat screen TV and heating controls just in this cabinet just in here. The West Wabasco heating. And with those, as we were saying earlier, those really nice windows, really sleek, long windows. And also the low level lighting you can see all the way around as well. So it's beautifully lit up at night. Now, the really clever bit here is this sliding bulkhead. So what it allows you to do, so at night, you and your guests, you can then separate this and turn this into a large forward cabin. Plenty of space, plenty of room, flat screen TV, all the privacy you could want. Hanging space just in the wardrobe in here. Come through heads we'll come back to and then the galley in this section here so in the cockpit we've got the barbecue there is a fridge uh, with a small freezer compartment in the cockpit in the galley we've got another fridge just here as well with the freezer compartment storage base bin microwave oven gas twin gas hob and plenty of storage space in the lockers here as well nice deep lockers all the way through and hot and cold water to your sink and then we come through into the another very clever space 34 foot just to remind you uh, this Geno leader 30 okay we come into the aft cabin now the aft cabin is convertible from you can either have it as a twin as it's set up at the moment the twin bunks and then we've got the bolster cushion just there on the far side that goes into the infill and we convert that into a double so you have a double here or alternatively it will be very handy for me and my three children is you've actually got a third bunk berth there so with feet tucked in there I've tried it myself <laughs> six foot so 
yeah, it would uh, sleep three adults in here as well. So you could actually sleep three guests in the aft cabin in here. There's a spotlight. Battery switches are just down here. Low level lights, hanging space and storage just in there as well with a little sofa if you weren't using that as a bed. And then we'll come back on through and we have our heads. Nicely fitted out. Shower, toilet, clever dual space there. Nice sink. Plenty of storage space. And again, all the way through that theme, the low level lights all the way through. And these are the steps just coming back up through into the cockpit. Now, engine access, just press a button here on the helm position. Excuse the alarm, it's just notified that it was coming up. And here we have our engine bay. As we said, twin D4, 260 horsepower, lots of space, easy access to check the oil filters and if I just get down this angle here you can just see we've got the Fisher Panda four kilowatt Fisher Panda so you've got your, your own power as well so with these engines they were last serviced in November 2020 so ready for the coming season and yeah you'd expect performance for this model this size somewhere around 34 35 knots Now, access forward, a couple of teak steps that we've got here and really good handholds. So I've got a handhold here, plenty of space as I walk up through the side decks. Sunroof. And then we come up onto the foredeck. So you've got drinks holders either side here. Sunbed. Good access forward. Anchor locker. And we've actually got another one of our many upgrades on here, a stainless steel anchor. Controls for the anchor windlass on the helm position and also controls here on the foredeck as well. Okay, just take a recap. This is a Geno Leader 36. She was built in 2016. She's fitted with a twin D4 260 horsepower engines and she's listed with us at Sultan's Brokerage on a central sole listing. Uh, she will be listed at £245,000 UK tax paid and she's available for viewing um, or online viewing. Uh, we'll even do uh, live video tours for those who uh, would like something. Just contact the team and we'll be happy to help. Any further questions uh, please email us and uh, please subscribe for any future videos. Thank you.